The shooter who killed five people and endangered the lives of over 40 others at an LGBTQ plus nightclub in Colorado Springs plans to plead guilty to new federal charges for hate crimes and firearm violations under an agreement that would allow the defendant to avoid the death penalty, according to court documents made public on Tuesday. Anderson Aldrich, 23, made a deal with prosecutors to plead guilty to 50 hate crime charges and 24 firearm violations, the documents show. Aldrich would get multiple life sentences in addition to a 190-year sentence under the plea agreement, which needs a judge's approval. The plea agreement was unsealed after Aldrich had pleaded not guilty in court during an initial appearance on Tuesday afternoon. The gun charges can carry a maximum penalty of death. Last year, Aldrich was moved to the Wyoming State Penitentiary due to safety concerns of the high-profile case, according to Alondra Gonzalez, a spokesperson for the Colorado Department of Corrections. The charges, which include multiple federal firearm violations, come after Aldrich pleaded guilty last June in state court to five counts of murder and 46 counts of attempted murder, one for each person at Club Q during the attack on November 19, 2022. Aldrich, who is non-binary and uses they slash them pronouns, also pleaded no contest to state charges for hate crimes charges under a plea agreement. The plea was an acknowledgement there was a good chance Aldrich would be convicted of those crimes without admitting guilt. The pleas carried the same weight as a conviction. The federal charges follow an FBI investigation into the shooting that was confirmed after Aldrich's sentencing in state court. At the time, District Attorney Michael Allen said the threat of the death penalty in the federal system was a big part of what motivated the defendant to plead guilty to the state charges. Aldrich declined to speak at the sentencing hearing in state court and have not said why they hung out at the club, then went outside and returned dressed in body armor. Aldrich began firing an AR-15 style rifle as soon as they came back in. Prosecutors say Aldrich had visited the club at least six times before that night and that Aldrich's mother had forced them to go. In a series of telephone calls from jail, Aldrich told the Associated Press they were on a very large plethora of drugs and abusing steroids at the time of the attack. When asked whether the attack was motivated by hate, Aldrich said that was completely off base. The district attorney called those statements self-serving and characterized the assertion as ringing hollow. He said Aldrich's claim of being non-binary is part of an effort to avoid hate crime charges, saying there was no evidence of Aldrich identifying as non-binary before the shooting. During hearings in the state case in February, prosecutors said Aldrich administered a website that posted a neo-Nazi white supremacist shooting training video. A police detective also testified that online gaming friends said Aldrich expressed hatred for the police, LGBTQ plus people and minorities, and used racist and homophobic slurs. One said that Aldrich sent an online message with a photo of a rifle trained on a gay pride parade. The attack shattered the sense of safety at Club Q, which served as a refuge for the city's LGBTQ plus community. The shooting was stopped by a Navy officer who grabbed the barrel of the suspect's rifle, burning his hand, and an Army veteran helped subdue and beat Aldrich until police arrived, authorities said. The 2022 attack came more than a year after Aldrich was arrested for threatening their grandparents and vowing to become the next mass killer while stockpiling weapons, body armor, and bomb-making materials. Those charges were eventually dismissed after Aldrich's mother and grandparents refused to cooperate with prosecutors.